by the Rick. Last of them coming in. Race seven, this is semi-final number four. Green light is turned on. Lua's on its way. Favorite box one, French Martini. They're set, they're racing. She stepped well enough, French Martini. She'll go through, she'll lead it to the first corner. Plaintiff carves over now, and Plaintiff has found the lead from French Martini. On the inside, Plaintiff got very deep. They're followed by Joseph's Coat. Well back, Father Rick, Corborn Hooper, and check right out of the race is Sonic Oak. Off the back straight now, French Martini went through to hit the lead from Plaintiff, and they're followed then back to the inside by Father Rick, but French Martini's raced away, and French Martini has won it by six to Plaintiff. Photo third, Father Rick or Shipwreck. They're followed in then by Joseph's Code. Well back in the field, Corborn Hooper a fair bid, and Sonic Oak has failed to finish the time around 29.50. Peter Lagosiani will be looking to create history again on Saturday week when he lines up French Martini in the Million Dollar Chase final. Of course, he's the only trainer to have won two Million Dollar Chase finals with Mystic Ride and also with Handsome Prince. We've got some happy owners. We'll have a happy trainer. Look, plaintiff led into that first turn. Timmy nearly hit the outside fence. He just didn't handle that run. Yeah, he hasn't really handled Wentworth Park Duke in all of his four runs now. Uh, we know what he can run when, uh, you know, on the tracks where he does love down in Victoria, but he just hasn't handled Wentworth Park. He was coming across, he went to the top, and he, he just crabbed around that first turn into the back, and French Martini, she drove up on the rail. She took control at that point. He couldn't run her down. She's got strength on her side. Oh, jeez. Can you believe Peter Lagogiani has got another one into a million-dollar chase final?